Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again, heading out in the M4A1 Sherman. Happy New Year 2021. We made it. Hopefully this is going to be better than uh, 20. Well, it can't be worse, right? So 2021, that's, that's going to be the year. That's going to be our year. I'm feeling good about it. Uh, let's see, we'll do the standard gameplay. Tips. History. We'll do some history on the uh, Sherman here. I think I'm going to talk on this one about basically the downfalls of the... Whoa, that was cool. Uh, the Kind of the shortcomings of the Sherman. And uh, we'll go through... There's plenty of them. And, uh, you know, even though this thing's regarded as this fantastic tank, it was good. But, um, nice. No, didn't do what I thought it did. All right. I'm just gonna keep shooting. I started with what 50 rounds, I think, here, and I'm just gonna lay them in all day long until somebody comes over here and kills me. But um, the Sherman, you know, there were tons of them. They made almost 50,000 of them. They actually ordered 67,000 of these things. Uh, the War Department did, but they were making so many ships at the time that uh, that order did not get filled. A whole bunch of them went all over the place on Lend-Lease, France, uh, ooh, that was lucky for me, he missed. Uh, Lend-Lease uh, to England, Great Britain, uh, France, other countries. Um, so a lot of them went that way, and then the United States had a whole bunch of the rest of them. We know all about all the variants, right? So we know there's Variant after variant of this thing. This is the M4A1. This was kind of uh, the beginning. This was with the cast hole as opposed to the welded hole later on. Um, 75 millimeter gun. And um, that's about it. There's nothing really special to talk about on this specific tank. But what we can talk about is in the real world and side. I get to side. Yeah. On those stoops, look for the top and the side. If you can come straight... Oh, I might be able to get that zero. Uh, nope. Okay, so we'll try to come straight down on this stoop. If you go behind the gun there, you can... No, never mind. Building got in my way. Alright, let's see. So I got this spot over here. It's a great spot. I love this spot. It's a good spot. Uh, let's see. Alright. Uh, the only thing we got to do, we got to make sure we watch out behind us, coming off of C, that these guys don't sneak up behind us over there, and got to make sure that we lead our shots. I have missed more shots. Oh my gosh! I, I mean, I bet you I've missed five or six shots already here that could have been nice ones. Just, you know, if you don't play a tank all that often, you can't really remember. You know, how much to lead, kind of like the speed of the, the velocity of the rounds and stuff like that. And I, it's cost me already in this game. So that's why I just got to keep shooting, I guess. I mean, that's it. I'm just going to keep on shooting. Come on. Give me something. All right, cool. All right, there's something. So, we, the Sherman, right, It it's a big deal. Uh, okay, well... It's a big deal as far as, man, there's so much going on, I can't even get going on talking about this thing. Um, it, it, you know, it won the war in a lot of ways, and it didn't win because it was some fantastic piece of equipment. It was a good piece of equipment as far as reliability and crew knowledge and simplicity of design and uh, size and weight, like it could go across bridges, it could be transported easily, all that kind of stuff, and that's what the big win was is that all those advantages it wasn't the advantage in armor because it didn't have an advantage in armor it wasn't the armor and firepower because it didn't have an advantage in firepower it was purely quantity these things were everywhere and everybody knew how to work on them and everybody knew how to use them and drive them and, and all that stuff um, and that's what really made the difference with this thing. It was inferior to Tigers, Panthers, all that stuff, and it faced those from, you know, early on and then throughout the war, 
where other countries were developing tanks specifically to, to be able to destroy those, the United States just kept going with the Sherman, kept going with the Sherman, because they were on that um, tank destroyer doctrine. So they had the idea of the tank destroyers would be the ones that would go around the back, take out infantry, take out whatever vehicles they could, and then come back around and rejoin with their group. Where the Sherman wasn't fast enough to do that sort of thing. It wasn't really the idea of how it was supposed to be used. It was kind of a catch-all tank. It did everything. Um, Swiss Army knife kind of deal. It did everything, but like the scissors on a Swiss Army knife aren't that great, right? So it, it did it. You got scissors on there. But they don't work. Oops. Oh well. I kind of... I don't know what I... I think I got a little... Oh, oh. Alright, good. Let's see if I can get him. Ah, oh, he's behind the hill. So now I gotta sit here facing this direction and watch him. Okay, now I'm kind of torn. Alright, oh, I got a couple guys on my team heading his direction. Alright, cool. I might not have to worry about that. Um... But like I said, you know, Swiss Army knife, right? It's got scissors on it. They're not the best scissors, but if you need them, they'll cut something. Like a, a, if you have a flathead screwdriver, you can turn a Phillips screw. It's not the best way to turn a Phillips screw, but it'll do it. And that's kind of how the Sherman was. The Sherman, um, it worked, and that was it. It wasn't the best tool for the job, but it worked. And it kept working, and it kept working, and that's why uh, it is so highly regarded uh, throughout the war uh, and post-war. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there about how bad of a tank that it was. And it it easily could have been, but I think the politics back in during wartime probably played more of a role in the feeling of negativity toward this Alright, good. Uh, than the reality, right? Because these guys that were tasked with manning these tanks I mean it was suicide almost you're going out in a completely inferior vehicle and if you don't play your cards right and you end up head-to-head -head with a tiger you're done I mean there's no way you're getting out of that um, so they were upset you know back then in the 40s and during the wartime and everything else they were angry that they weren't being supplied with the tools that they felt that they needed uh, whereas the War Department said well that's it's a great it's a great tank you got everything you need you got all kind you got a good transmission you got reliability blah 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 but again they didn't have the best of anything and that's what they were looking for they wanted something that could be the best at something like pick something for it to be good at and let us have that and that that's not what this thing was all about uh, it's just about numbers. That's what they stuck with. And SM24 keeps driving back and forth in front of me here. He's like taunting me. And I know that gun can hurt me. Alright, let's see here. So anyway, that's kind of the rundown on the Sherman. The shortcomings, like we've talked about before, in the armor, uh, firepower, speed. I mean, it was, you yeah. know... It wasn't fast, it wasn't slow, but it wasn't fast. Alright, okay, he can't move now. Here we go. Got the transmission. Gotta get higher, a little higher now. I got the turret ring, need a little higher. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit higher, did it? Ooh. And I'm lucky he turned his turret a little bit. I got a little bit of a side shot on that turret. Um, so that's kind of the rundown on that. Um, the... Just above this rock. There we go. Kind of key in game with this is to find. How many kills do I? I gotta get this bomber. Watch my back. Um, key in game is to make sure you're not the guy that they're focusing on. You want to be amongst friends. It's definitely helpful because those guys that are pulling up there have no idea I'm over, even over here, and none of them have really bothered to even try to come over and get me they all end up up on that building area and they're trapped up there and that's that um like i was saying though too the war department looked at the sherman as being perfectly adequate but they weren't the ones that were out there having to fight in it and figure out how to not die in it which is you know that's kind of how that stuff always seems to work is these 
generals and stuff say we we're giving you the tools like we gave you a flathead screwdriver and you say yeah and all we're doing is turning these fill I'm gonna try to set get a fire around this guy so he can't shoot as easily here we go Let's see if I can help these guys out um, you know it's like yeah and we're turning Phillips screws all day with it so like give us a Phillips it's like no no we're not gonna give you a Phillips we're giving you a flathead and you're just gonna figure out how to do it and that's how the whole deal went for them and I cannot imagine being a tanker in the 40s in a Sherman basically knowing that you're in an inferior vehicle to what you might see now the plus side was they only made 1300 Tiger 1's and they only made 6,000 Panzers so there were only 7,300 total of those vehicles they made more Shermans during uh, the mid 40s basically till the end of the war till 45 they made more Shermans during that time than Germany built total armored vehicles in a decade so just in two or three years they built more so I'm gonna try and swing around here on C and come in the other side see if I can get in over here to help these guys out I think I uh oh This is the thing, you know, when you're in the game, you find a spot, right? But you gotta pay attention. Look, we're down, we only have one point. Even though they're just killing these guys, it's not doing anything if we lose. There we go. Okay, there's one. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Oh boy, gunner. Okay, I'm in trouble now. This is gonna be it, I think. Oh, come on. Oh, he got my breach. Got my breach. Okay, and I can't get the lucky shot out of there. I'm in trouble. Um, yep, well, that's it. Cool. 12 kills, 3 assists. Nice. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I was talking about paying attention to the map and stuff. So, you know, I could see C was in trouble, right? I knew we had guys over there, and I knew that these other guys were going to be looking at them, so I thought I might have time to run around behind them. Unfortunately, this... Chaffee saw me, both of them saw me, and swung out around and got me, but I it, sometimes you can manage to sneak up on those guys, and you can get in there and uh, clean them up pretty quick uh, before they even know you're there. And when you do that, start with the guy in the back. If they don't see you, start with the guy in the back, take him out, and hope that the other guy's just looking through his scope and he's not even going to see that happen right behind him, right? So here, I'm going to take this M24 out. All right, I'll get in this plane and see what happens. But if you start from the back, you can start taking them out. And you might be able to get away with it for a little while before these guys start to realize that nobody's with them anymore. So anyway, we'll get in this plane. This game's almost over. I think we got this pretty well wrapped up. Um, I'll do more Sherman videos. This video... Here we go. Keep it coming. There we go. All right. Oh, and that's it. Ball game. Uh, hopefully, one of you subscribers will specifically appreciate this video. Some of you guys like the Shermans, and I appreciate those of you who like the Shermans. I also appreciate all of you who have subscribed, which is awesome. It's not a bunch of you, right? But we're getting there, uh, slowly but surely. And I'm having fun making these videos. I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you again. Well, I guess that's about it. So uh, good luck, guys. Have fun. See you in the next one.